Well, been kind of, we've been kind of doing some work around here, so it kind of looks like somebody lives here now. Uh, kind of a strange person maybe lives here, but anyway, my uh, lattice had all fallen down that holds up this uh, clematis vine, so I uh, incorporated that wo wooden orchard ladder. That's what we used to use in the orchards. And they're heavy. You have to move them around, and, and it's a hard day's work. But it looked like it needed a birdhouse up on top, so I did that and then I put some chicken wire on there so the clematis can, can uh, grab a hold and climb up that ladder and I think that's going to be pretty cool. And, <laughs> and I moved some of my, uh, after these trees got so big, it shaded the front of the porch. I used to have hanging baskets over there, but uh, it's got too, sh doesn't get any light anymore, so I moved my, my pulleys. I got an old wooden pulley there and I moved my pulleys and my, my buckets out here for the hanging plants and got another old wooden pulley over here and uh, it's got a metal wheel in it but the outside's wood just the, kind of the opposite of the other one but and that's kind of a weird looking bucket I don't know that's enamel there's a place down there in southern Washington that had a whole bunch of them but I only, only bought one they were kind of proud of them but they were different colors and I never had seen that I seen the old blue speckled enamel, uh, a lot of camping gear. Well, I had that when I was a kid growing up, but I never saw they had buckets of all different colors. <laughs> and uh, the brown one and blue ones and red ones and everything, but that's the one I got anyway. Uh, moving along here, got kind of, got some weeding done and a couple hanging baskets. My friends, when I was over in Anacortes, they, Knew about this guy that grows this stuff for a hobby and sells it out of his, his uh, garage. And he was selling these hanging baskets for 10 bucks. And around here they're about, you know, keep saying it gets about 25. And so anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. And I, I bought him out pretty much. I've got the old boot planted and another little boot planted there. And uh, got a little hen and chick in it or a hen or something. <laughs> Lord Bridges crawled out of the pond, but anyway, the pond's looking real good, no algae, and uh, my filtration system's working real well, and must have everything kind of balanced out because the water's good, and the fish are happy.